What is up, Flock Phoenix Fella here, and welcome back to another Farming Sim 19 um, kind of update video, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, um, simply because there's been so much information coming out, and nothing really that hasn't seen, like, hasn't been publicly introduced. I mean, it's been all pretty much through Giants pouring this stuff out, unlike 17, where it was so much just, just leaked out there. Um, Giants has done a pretty good job this time around of making sure they're the ones to announce it uh, with the exception of the S what S790 I believe that's coming um, out today I'm recording this the day before it's supposed to come out but uh, Chief uh, found a guy who who actually leaked that information or well found that leaked information and made it known and then Listerin or however it's pronounced, uh, the community manager in the Giants official Discord has confirmed that it will be in a fact sheet today. So we won't see that, but you know, it's it's out there. So you can Google it, check it out, what have you. But today I wanted to do a video, um, kind of uh, talking about some of the things that I I see that's coming to nineteen that I I really like, uh, and. You know, just talk about the things that I'm excited for, excited for in 19. The first things I'm excited for, of course, hands down, without, without a doubt, is the, uh, the what really defines on how I'll, how much I'll enjoy the game is how the placeables work. I really want to see if the placeables work like I think they're gonna work, which um, with the ground leveling out. Like I don't want to place a building and have like mountains. Uh, <laughs> around it just because it yeah you know, they I, I wish it, I hope that it, it kind of smooths out the ground we shall see how it works but um yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to that it's like the thing I'm most excited for everybody's like John Deere John Deere I'm like no I'm, I'm like head over heels for the whole placeable how the placeable stuff's gonna work this time around that's where it, what gets me, not, not John Deere. But anyway, we're going to talk about some of the cool things. Um, and this is directly from farming, uh, the FarmingSimulator.com website. If you guys want to go to it, you just go to Farming-Simulator.com. This comes up. You come over here to games. Uh, and this is where you would pre-order the game at. Uh, and it has all this listed. Um, a whole bunch of different brands. This list is huge compared to the 17 one um which i don't think i can get to here can i i don't know fire some threat protection who needs that uh go away go away there we go oh god there's another one java update no we don't care go go away go away go away i'm making a video thank you uh, so let's go and uh, check out each brand here, and then we'll, of course we're going to check out the maps and the animals and the fruits and all that. But um, Agco, uh, there's really only the the ideal harvester that's here. I don't care about the weights or anything. I'm I'm curious what's the difference between these um, headers though, because they're both 12 meters. It doesn't give any more details, so I'm curious to know what the difference is. That's really that's that's really it. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what's. A lot of people were excited when they announced this ideal harvester. I I mean it looks cool, but you know is is it really all that awesome? I don't know. We shall see. But next up, let's go. On. What's this here? Okay, so this is about some plows, I guess. Um, agro. We got plows, cedars. Uh, nothing really all that cool. Amazon, your typical. You know, uh, planter, cedar. Why, wait, wait, planter, what's the difference? What's the difference? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay. Uh, in, and a burger. It's a trailer. How much is it hold? 55,000 liters. Okay. Ar Arcusian. Okay, so we got, what's this? Is that a round bale stacker, or is that... No, that's definitely square bale, right? Hmm, we shall see. Arma track, nice little little bit, little tractor, small tractor. I do like how they're splitting that up, though. And you'll see that in the bigger categories uh, that we go through. But they actually have it labeled by the size of the tractor, which is kind of cool. 
but little arm track tractor so this bednar oh this is one thing i've noticed too which i'm i'm kind of excited for uh and kind of bummed about because i don't think big bud has been announced in these yet it's not listed i would i would hope we would get the uh the big bud dlc or big bud stuff converted over but you never know, but the size that they've really amped up the size of things, which is kind of exciting because usually you get just just very small equipment. They're giving you some pretty decent sized stuff, like eighteen point two meters here for the cultivator. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm I will say I'm kind of excited for that that we're getting bigger stuff and we even get a big planter. Um, I forget what it's under, but we'll we'll get to it in a minute. But I do like I do like that way that to see that the only thing that bums me out about it is we're not gonna get nine R. Uh, we get the big New Holland, we get the big uh, case, but we don't have a nine R yet. Hopefully, maybe, possibly. Anyway, Bergman, just a, a loading wagon. Uh, Bachman was a oh this is a horse trailer, a little little bitty horse trailer. Um, it's kind of cool. Kella's dude ranch. Well, well. We'll ride again. Uh, Bradell is how it's pronounced. We got some FERT technology. Uh, Capella. Okay, so he. I think it's the same side. Never mind. Twelve meters. Pretty standard. I think they have been in just about everything. Well, they were definitely in fifteen, seventeen. I believe. I could be wrong, but I think they were in seven, fifteen. I know for sure they were in seventeen. Uh, this is, I guess, the sunflower. Isn't this the sunflower header? I'm not 100% certain. I mean, you get your corn headers. They're pretty standard. Um, next up, I just click Capella again. Case. So this is one thing that excites me here is this. And I think even... Was it? No. There was another brand that had an old track. I think it's Fent. Is it Fent? Let me make sure. Yeah, okay. So, I think it's an older tractor anyway. Um, that's one thing that I like and I wish they did more of is include some older older style tractors instead of all the new stuff. Um, I definitely would love to see more of that. Uh, definitely going forward. Um, but I understand most of these companies who are giving uh, their licensing to Giants once they're, they're newer, the, the big and best stuff they got they want that put on display so i understand that but it, it would be cool to get get some old older style stuff around the farm um but as you can see here this is what i was talking about so you got medium 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 large large uh that, that it's really split off into the the category the splits it up so if you need a medium sized tractor to me do a medium sized duty bam you click on medium there you go and then of course large you know, you get your large stuff here. Um, but I love that we're getting the sugarcane stuff in the base game. And this is another thing I'm really excited for is the cotton. Uh, I can see a lot of cotton harvesting going on in our on our server. So that's, that's kind of exciting. And this here, coming soon. So there's more information. One thing I noticed is we don't have both in the case and I believe in New Holland. Let me, let me go check that out real quick. New Holland. As you can see... The, they're, they're big um, harvesters, which were uh, pretty standard, especially Case, uh, in the past two games. It was in 15, too, I believe. And 13, I think it was even in 13, the expansion, the um, was it Titanium, Platinum, one of those uh, additions. They had the, the Case Combines, so... I believe. Don't quote me on this. It's been so long ago. Um, we played so much farm sim that I don't really remember the default equipment. But as you notice, it's not here. And the same with New Holland. The uh, their big harvester is not in the thing. So I'm thinking coming soon, uh, we're definitely going to get uh, some harvesters. Don't quote me on that. But that that with the announcement of the 790 uh, coming today, I really think that maybe we'll get a case and a new Holland as well. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but it seems like they're really, they're pushing this ADCO ideal harvester. It's a massive Ferguson, but 
Um, Agco actually owns Case in New Holland too as well, don't they? Don't quote me on that. Let me look that up. I just hit my mic. Um, let's look it up real quick just to make sure I'm not I'm not nutty. Agco. Yeah, so they own Challenger, Fent, Massey. Let's go to our brands. So they own Challenger, Fent, GSI, Massey, Ferguson, Voltra. Uh, okay, so Agco doesn't own Case in New Holland. Wait. I was wrong. I was completely wrong. Um, who? Wait. In case New Holland owned by the same people, or am I imagining that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's not Agco. I'm dumb. It's CNH Industrial that owns Case. They own Case, Steyr, Case Construction, New Holland. New Holland Construction, Inveco, or Iveco, however it's pronounced. Okay, so I was wrong. It's not Agco. I'm I'm dumb on that front. But anyway, um, hopefully we'll get the uh, those combines though. Anyway, uh, now I've made a dummy of myself. Let's continue on. We got Challenger, which is the Agco. Uh, the only current thing is the MT800E. More coming soon. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we get some more. I, I like the, the challenges. Damn con uh, forestry equipment. That's your tree planter, is it? Isn't it? I'm not 100% certain. Dutzfar. Did we get Dutzfar in? I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Dutzfar. Um, in 17, I can't remember. I think for sure it was in 15. I know for sure it was in 17. Uh, but we only get one tractor from them. That's kind of sucky. I do like that lime green though. Um, DMF. We got some skid steer loader or skid steer attachers. That, I'm not sure what that is. I mean, that's a clamp, of, but it looks like a saw too. What, I'm not quite sure what that is. Maybe that is. Why would it be. Oh, I'm confused. Anyway, I don't really care about that. Du Duvelsdorf? <laughs> we have a leveler and a roller. Kind of cool. In, in Brock, we have Weeders. Um, Elmer's. This Okay, so this is an auger wagon. And the fact, according to the fact sheet, you don't have wheel options, which I wish. Um, like the Kenzies that came out for for. 15 and 17 as mods. I wish they gave us the options between wheels and and tracks instead of just tracks. Uh, that's my only complaint. I, I'm, I don't know. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the tracks, but uh, it's a nice looking um, auger rag compared to the ones we had in 15. Uh, we, get, we get this one and we get a uh, Kinsey too, I believe. Get to it. Farm Tech. Pretty standard trailers for Farm Sim. Fent. Fent. We get we get a small two small tractors two or medium tractor and two large tractors. Um, it looks a lot like the Challenger because it's made by the same company. But anyway, uh, I'm not sure if we had Fent either. Do, isn't, isn't that new for seven or nineteen? I'm not not 100 certain on that. I don't really play with the in game stuff much, um, but I mean if, it, if it's a new offering, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Fiat, we got a little small tractor from Fiat, aka Dodge. Um, Flexi coil, this is one thing 
24 meter uh, cultivator. The thing's huge. Another thing, I like I said, I'm excited for the bigger equipment. That's pretty awesome. Flegel, we have baling tech. What is that? A bale spike? Thing looks wicked. Uh, logger picker upper log trailer bale trailer. FMZ, we hunt this little rinky dink old looking freaking harvester. Who's gonna use that? Like who who will choose that over what what's been announced? No oh, small little trailer, nothing interesting. FSI, that's your stump grinder. Uh, Gessner. This for some reason, like the sugarcane stuff looks freaking beastly. Like it just I don't know, everything about sugarcane harvesting or sugarcane technology, planters, harvesters, they all look freaking just deadly. Like, that looks awesome. I'm put yeah, planter. So we get two different planters. I think. But anyway. I, I, I haven't played, I haven't fooled with that at all in in 17, so I'm kind of looking forward to, to doing it in 19. Next up we have Greg, 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 <laughs> Plow and Trail Lifter? What's that? I'm kind of interested to know what that is. We got Grimmy, which we're getting a new potato harvester. Uh, still same brand, but new harvester, which I, I'm kind of excited for. I love this potato technology, guys. Potatoes. Potatoes is where it's at. Hardy, we have a kind of meh. Um, sprayer, it's it's all right. <laughs> Hass, I don't know how. Eighteen meter planter. The thing is is huge. Again, another more big equipment. Um, looking for it. We're looking forward to it. It's gonna be a pain in the neck though. Uh, Hol Holoros rocking the Kella paint scheme. Uh, the orange and lime green. Uh, a set of levelers. Husqvarna, you got your chainsaw. Give us a lawn tractor. <laughs> uh, JBC, or JCB, JBC. Jesus, JCB Fast Tracks. We get the 4220 and the 8330. I think the 8330 is actually the fastest tractor that I've seen in the game. So, that's that's interesting, I guess, for any of those who want to know. Uh, I, I've seen, it could be, could be others. Don't don't quote me on that, Jesus. Um, then we have your chippers that were in in seventeen. So then we have John Deere. As you can see, the the seven ninety is not listed yet. It's supposed to be announced in today's fact sheet. If if the reports are correct, um, I'm so if 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 it really does come out, I'm hoping. Like I said, I'm recording this video uh, Thursday, so I'm hoping I'm hoping. That this isn't the only John Deere combine we get. It's rinky dink. It's small. Give us, give us a big one with a big header, and just have some fun. <laughs> but uh, so you know, I'm excited to have the eight R and the seven R series. Um, but I really wish we would get a nine R as well. And we have the eight R T, but uh, a nine R to compete with the Case Quad Track and then the new Holland. What's the T nine? Yeah series i would i would love to have the 9r so maybe there's still hope for that who knows uh jornstead another chainsaw joskin we got the we got trailer all pretty sure all this stuff is in 15 with the exception of that trailer i don't remember that trailer i could be wrong kemper we have forest harvester headers kenzie uh we got that uh well i said we, we we're getting a, a smaller auger wagon from Kenzie but it has the wheels on it which I like so I'll probably use this one more than the, the uh, what's it Elmer but who knows and more coming soon so maybe we'll get a bigger one you, you never know you never know Komatsu this is your heart your forestry stuff no big whoop uh, Ko Ko Koti I don't know how it's pronounced but all this is in 17 or 17 as well I think was except or not I'm not sure if, if that tank is in there anyway uh, Kramer, or Cram, Kramer, I don't know, uh, <laughs> a little front loader there, Crampy, Cramp, whatever, how it's pronounced, uh, pretty standard trailers for farm sim, Agro Liner, again, pretty standard trailers for farm sim, Crone, we're getting, we get the Forge Harvester, all the headers for it, 
we're getting the big M again. This wasn't in 17. Um, it's It was in 13. I believe it was in 15 as well. We're finally getting the big M again. Uh, much needed. I love the big M. Um, it, it just it makes cutting grass so much easier. Uh, especially with the modded ones when they slide out. And it's so much easier. But... Um, there we go. We got Crone Big M back. That's that's another thing I'm happy about. Is it Cahoon? Coon? Coon? I believe it was pronounced Coon Kraus, the cultivator. So we can go with Coon. Uh, we have Bale Shredders, it looks like. Balers. That Bale looks kind of cool. Um, Bale Wrappers. Cultivators. Cedars. Sprayers. A lot of stuff through them. Wow. And this is more coming soon. So that's kind of cool. Got a lot of stuff from this. This is like the biggest list of any brand so far. Kind of excited about that. Not even going to lie. Did we do... Huh? Well, we're in case. Never mind. Curvenland. Uh, nothing special. Uh, Wind rower. Nothing special from Lay. Lim Limpkin. Planters. Nothing special. Lind Linder Lindner Lindner. Oh, I was about a small tractor. Nothing special. Nothing special. Lizard. This is what a lot of people were waiting for. Look at all that cool stuff. What we get? We get. Look at them trucks, though. Them trucks, though, are actually pretty, pretty awesome. I will say. Uh, so we get 460 horsepower, 550 horsepower, and 620 horsepower. Um, I do like. I do like the look of the trucks. Of course, I'm going to use the modded ones when they come out, but. Uh, for, I like this one the best. I, just me personally. I really do like this one. Uh, <clears throat> even though it's the least powerful one. But, uh, it looks, it looks ridiculously awesome. This truck, I'm not, I'd rather have the old truck from 15 again over this. Uh, this looks like a crappy S10, <laughs> in my opinion. Um... Not too excited about it. Even that that truck, I'm kind of nah. It's it's not it's, it's not all that. I'm not really excited for the pickups at all. I know a lot of people are, especially the uh, the, the console guys, because you know that's all they really get. But <sighs> they're I'm not as excited for them as I am I was for the uh, the 15 or 17 ones. Like I don't know, the 17 ones look better in my opinion. But again, that's my opinion. We got some sugarcane technology, a harvester, a uh, silage fork, a cotton trailer, a big cotton trailer, which is kind of awesome. I can't wait for it. Um, sugarcane trailer, milk trailers, which is another thing I'm excited for. I wish they would put like an American style tanker, like a trim car. I think it's how it's pronounced. Um, trailer. <laughs> uh, my dad used to haul milk. That's what I would like to. I'd, I'd love to have one of those trailers uh, instead of these European style trailers. But I'm kind of excited they're actually putting that in the base game because um, it's it's something that I've always enjoyed uh, when they put the stop milk sale and you actually had to haul the milk back and forth. That was one of my favorite because that's what my dad used to do. Like uh, that's how he got in the truck driving. So. You know, it's something that's always piqued my interest, but, you know, getting some cool stuff from, from Lizard. Anyway, Load King, uh, I'm not really, I'd, I'm more excited for the, the Wilsons. They hold more, you know, the Load King's cool and everything, but more excited for the Wilsons. Magis, Majesty, is how it's pronounced. We got some telehandler attachers and wheel loader attachers. I think Paladin's actually got the bigger... What's this hold? We'll see. 3,000 liters. We'll see about the Paladin. Uh, actually, I think the Paladin... Anyway. Anyway. Man trucks. Nobody cares about them. Except for the Euro you Euro Europeans. Sorry. I don't mean to uh, to burst your bubble, but we really, us Americans really don't care. It's kind of cool that uh, they actually have a truck brand in there, but yeah, nobody's really... All that, all that cares much. Man Manitou, is that it's pronounced... Kind of cool that they're getting a forklift. I'm not good with the telehandlers slash um, skid steers. So stacking things will be much easier for me with the forklift. Just saying. Massey Ferguson. Uh, we get small trailer, medium trailer, tra not trailer, tractors. 
Me small trailer a tractor, pfft, medium tractor, large tractor, telehandler, another small harvester, nothing huge, and some a sugar cane trailer. Um, they're really pushing the the, the uh, sugar cane stuff. I've noticed even they put even lizard brands <laughs> brands in. Uh, McCulloch, is that's pronounced. So just a chainsaw. Mich Michletto. Who's really nobody's gonna use that anymore now that we have the Wilson coming. New Holland, another big category, uh, and I'm. Th it's kind of cool because we get the T5, T6, T7, T8, T9, like the whole New Holland lineup. Plus, we get the real the wheel loaders, the skid steers. We get a small harvester. Uh, like I said, I'm thinking because you know it's been pretty standard. We're gonna get the big what's it CR something 10 or 10 something. I don't remember the name of it, but I'm pretty sure we'll get that. Um, as long as the case, if it not, it's gonna it's gonna shock me because it's you know they're they're really not giving us huge harvesters for you know, and they're giving us huge planters, huge cultivators and such. So I would that would kind of bum me out. But anyway, uh, huge category. I'm really excited for these skid steers. Uh, they look a whole lot better than the JCBs. The wheel loader even looks looks freaking meaner. I don't know how they did it, but it does look meaner. <laughs> um, so yeah, and we only get a round baler. I hope we get some bigger balers. The only one we have is a coon so far. Next up, we have the paladin skid steer attachers. Okay, so the wheel loader's not in here. Maybe it is a majesty. Hmm, Pottinger is pretty standard equipment for farm sim. Ponzi, you get those bad boys back. Uh, or, 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 Rabi, rab, rab, whatever. <laughs> Nothing interesting. Randon. These trailers actually do look kind of cool. Not even gonna lie. I'm really excited for the sugar cane as much as the cotton because I didn't play with the sugar cane stuff in 17, so kind of excited for it. Ryu. Nothing interesting. Ropa. Just a potato wagon, I guess. Or is that a planter? I think it's a planter. Why didn't we get like the the Ropa DLC? Maybe that's coming. Who knows? A uh, Rostel Mash. So we get a somewhat of a big harvester here. Not nothing huge again. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know. Salford, you know, plow, Sampo, Rosinlu, another forestry thing. Samson. We get some slurry tankers and a. Poop spreader. Uh, Sweet sh maker. Is that as pronounced? We get a couple trailers and a loading wagon. Oh, two couple loading wagons and a trailer. Silo King. We get a uh, food mixer. Stara. I actually, I kind of, I'm kind of digging these tractors. We get a small, medium tractor. Uh, I kind of digging them. I like the, I like the color of them. The orange with the green and white stripes. I don't know why. Uh, I foresee me using a couple of these around the farm because I don't know that, that paint scheme just I like it next up we have Steppa which is a uh, forestry log loader Steyr you get the small tractor again still yeah chainsaw stole is how it's pronounced some front loader and front loader attachers Shrootman pretty standard trailers for farm sim and we get the uh Self-powered um, mixer wagon. Sure, just, just wait. Nobody cares. Uh, <laughs> Thuringa. <laughs> this the uh, I don't know how it's pronounced. Just a header trailer. Nothing super awesome. Uh, Fifteen point two meter weeder. Uh, let's see another big big thing um, coming. So hopefully we get. Come on, nine R. But anyway. Uh, nothing interesting there. TT. See, this stuff looks awesome. Like, look at that thing. I don't know why. It just looks awesome. Same with the trailers. Ver Vertastad. This is your big... So this is the really big planter from, uh, the Big Bud DLC. I wish we would get the Big B Big Bud tractors, but apparently we're not. It's not listed here. Vultra. 
That was in, I think they only give us one tractor. This time. We're getting three this time. Vicon, Tether, Warzy. I like the colors, um, but I guess these are bale shredders. I don't remember what these were. Wilson trailers. This is something that everybody else is excited for. We're getting the the Wilson pace setter in the default game, and the uh, animal trailer, the livestock trailer, which I'm excited for. Um, so the, I mean, the six thousand liter is bigger than the Load King. It's probably more pricey, but it looks it looks so awesome. So I'm pretty sure this is what we'll be rocking. And then of course the Wilson livestock trailer for hauling stuff around. Pretty sure it's going to haul more than the other other one. But then we have Ziggler to round it off, which is just a corn header. And then coming soon. So there could be more stuff coming. Um, let's go over here to maps. We have two maps coming. I thought they said three. I don't remember. But we have Felsburn, which is a... Uh, I'm not quite sure what, supposed, what, what country it's supposed to be based off of. But... I like the dock here, and then there's a couple other things like this little narrow street. I actually do like the little town. It's kind of cool. Castle in the background, and these streets are kind of cool. But let's get what everybody is excited for. The I'm saying it's a South American map, Ravenport, because it's got a lot of like Southern American style architecture, like that church in the background. Um, nice little. Little pier there. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Nice little town again. But you can see it's got palm trees and everything. Uh, it's not something you'd really see in North America as much. I think they really tried to incorporate South America and you know North America feel. But you know, I can't wait for my maps to come out. Animals. We get chickens. We get cows again, of course. I wish they had chicken fattening and cow fattening so we can sell, like, beef. Chicken fattening, sell chickens, beef, sell cows. Horses is a big one for this, this game. You can get to make glue. I'm No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Kelly's Dude Ranch. Look at those. You get all kinds of colors, just like in Red Dead Redemption. Uh, you get pigs, uh, pretty standard for pork, and sheep, pretty standard for wool. Kind of cool. Fruits, you get barley, canola, corn, cotton's a new one, oats a new one, grass, old seed radish, popular, potatoes, soybeans, sugar beet, sugar cane, sunflowers, and wheat. So uh, I'm kind of I'm really excited for this. This is probably the last FS19 video I make before the release because we're what? How many days are we away? It comes out on calendar opens it comes out on the 20th and it's a ninth. so we're like we're well it's technically a ninth now uh so we're like 11 days away so we're like we're, we're less than two weeks away boys um this is exciting it's exciting um but yeah i'm really looking forward to 19 more so looking forward to 19 than i was 17 um mainly because of the placeables and uh, the the Wilson stuff being in game for you console guys. But anyway, uh, if you guys are interested in winning a copy of Farming Sim 19, uh, in the link down below, it's gonna be. Oh, I forgot to I forgot to link my video. Okay, uh, <laughs> random random thought. Um, link down below for the uh, giveaway that I'm currently doing. It's for a physical copy of Farm Sim 19. You guys click on that link, and you'll be entered. You, there's a couple different steps you go through. You'll be entered to win a signed physical copy signed by me. Um, so if you guys are interested, there you go. But anyway, that's going to do it for today's video, guys. If you guys did like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. If you guys want to see future Farming Sim 17 or 19 or farming, future Farm Sim videos, be sure to click subscribe. And always, guys, thank you so very, very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Woo!